Hello and welcome to the DSO Imager channel. Uh, my name is James and today I figure I'll go over the equipment that I'm using for this year, 2023. Now there is a bit of wind. I'm standing uh, right next to my house for this uh, first part here. If it does get too windy I'll probably have to um, just do some commentary over the video but hopefully it won't be too bad. Alright, so this uh, wide field rig, this is the Ascar 65 PHQ riding on a Celestron AVX. You can see for focusing I've got the uh, ZWO EEF. Uh, for managing the rig, this is a MELE Quieter 3 computer. Um, and then down here you can see the um, Pegasus Astro PowerBox Micro. Uh, I didn't need the advanced since I'm using the USB ports on the mini PC. So this combination actually works out really well. Uh, we're not using any kind of a reducer or flattener with this. It's a PETS full scope so we don't need to worry about that. I have a five position uh, ZWO filter wheel and the ASI 533MC Pro. So it's a one-shot color camera in the filter wheel. I've got a luminance filter. I've got a, a CLS filter. I have a um, the uh, Optolong L Extreme in there, and I also have a regular plain old S2 filter. So with this setup, I could do broadband um, HOO with that L Extreme, or I can even do SHO with that added uh, S2 filter. Uh, for auto guiding, I got the little SV Boney 30 millimeter scope, and I forgot the model of the camera, but it's the one that uses the IMX 290. Now, the thing about this build is that with the mini PC on the scope itself, like this, and with the Pegasus power box right here providing power, I only have a single cable that comes off the scope, and that would be the power cable, which I don't have it plugged in right now, but uh, that really helps with guiding and it also makes it very quick to break this down. If I got to bring the scope in quickly or bring it out, it's just one cable. Everything else is completely self-contained. Uh, the AVX's power cable goes right over here. So uh, the power cable for the AVX isn't part of the um, RA or DEC. So yeah, only one cable. And, you know, uh, it's an AVX. It needs all the help it can get when it comes to guiding. All right, so next up is my AT115 EDT riding on in Skywatcher E26R Pro. And this one, this setup is going to mirror that 65 PHQ. In fact, this is a brand new addition. I was so impressed with uh, how that MELE Quieter 3 worked that I picked up a second one recently. Uh, this one was originally being run by a laptop, but now I've got the Quieter 3 on there. Uh, I have a the original Pegasus power box, so this one doesn't have any uh, screw holes or anything. Oh, I forgot to mention on that 65 PHQ. So the bottom of the Quieter 3 is threaded for M3 screws. And so I actually attached it using long M3 screws and a washer going through this. And I did the same method of securing it on the 65 PHQ. Uh, the Pegasus Astro Micro also has M3 screws on the bottom. So that was easy to secure to, the, uh, to that top rail. Excuse me, the bottom rail on the 65 PHQ. This uh, original one uh, from Pegasus Astro there's no, no screw holes, so I had to resort to zip ties. You can see a zip tie running this way, and a zip tie running this way. So, I mean, that thing's not going anywhere. Uh, but that's what it took to secure that on there. And uh, for the guide scope, this is a Astromania, I believe is the brand. Kind of like a generic brand on Amazon. It's a 50 millimeter guide scope. And we're using an ASI 224MC for the guide camera. No problems using that one-shot color for guiding. Okay, so for autofocus, again, ZWO EAF. This is the older style one that requires the power, but it's no problem since it's plugged right into there. 
and we have the AstroTech 0.8 reducer for the 115 EDT and then we got a 7, no it's an 8, an 8 position filter, uh, 1, point, 1 and a quarter inch a ZWO filter wheel and we got our ASI 1600 mono here. Uh, the filters that I'm running in this guy uh, I have Chroma LRGB filters and then Astrodon um, narrowband HA03 and S2 and the Astrodon filters are all 5 nanometer. And just like the 65PHQ the only cable that's coming off of this system is going to be the power cable which is actually on the other side but it's windy <laughs> on that side. So only one cable coming off of there. Uh, I do have the um, power cable separate so I'm using the separate AC adapter for the power cable uh, but just like the um, the uh, 65 PHQ setup all the USB stuff is handled here now I don't have the cable attached here because I'm still setting up uh, but that'll be hooked on and so again it, the whole thing is only got one cable off it's going to be very easy to mount and unmount and uh, it should help the guiding as well then here is my workhorse of a scope for a longer focal length, the Celestron Edge HD8, also riding on an EQ6R Pro. So on this one, I'm still driving this by a laptop. I got the uh, Pegasus Astro Powerbox Advanced here, so this is handling the USB and the power duties. And because of that, I just have one uh, PC cable, one USB cable coming off that runs to the laptop and the power and uh, the power cord is actually right here and so I just plug the power cord from an AC adapter into this and that provides power for the entire rig on all three rigs I'm using the uh, Pegasus Astro I forgot how big that uh, the specs on that brick but it's a pretty long brick it was uh, it's like 80 bucks uh, and it provides all the power I need for everything probably too much but it's a solid power delivery. Now I do have a couple of two and a half pound weights, so a total of five pounds of weights up front. We got the do not strip, do do heater strip, and the um, the do shield, which works fine. I've never had a problem with do on on that corrector plate. We're using the Celestron 0.7 reducer. This is the old school Celestron off-axis guider. I would recommend against this guider for this scope. I mean, um, OAG for this scope. It's the prism's too small. Is the reality. So, had I known that, I would have gotten gotten one with a larger prism. I do occasionally run into problems finding guide stars. Uh, this is an ASI 178 mono. This is actually my first cool camera. It had been sitting on the shelf doing nothing. Uh, I originally had that 224MC on here and that small chip was just, it was very difficult to find guide stars. So I figured why not, let's try this out of desperation. And the sensor on that 178 utilizes the entire prism of this OAG so it is definitely a better setup and it's worked well enough that uh, I've just been using it <laughs> instead of buying a proper uh, guide camera uh, I don't use the cooler obviously for it and so there's not been any problems you do see some uh, some tape over here I had some light leak issues back there uh, another ZWO 8 position filter 1 and a quarter inch this is fully loaded with astronomic Filters. So an astronomic L2 for luminance, astronomic deep sky RGB, and then astronomic 6 nanometer HA03 and S2. And the camera that I'm using with this guy is the ZWO ASI 294 Mono. And I do the I capture everything with the native bin 2 uh, value. That gives me a really good image scale. Uh, for Focusing duties, I am using the ZWO Celestron focus motor, and uh, it actually works pretty well. Uh, I'm, in, I'm a little surprised and impressed, because it is one of the less expensive options out there 
Uh, and the reason I went with this was in case I ever decided to do um, try a Hyperstar, uh, you would need the autofocus out here. I mean, typically with uh, with these SCTs, people would get an auxiliary focuser over here, and then you lock the mirror down with these lock screws and do all your focusing with the aux focuser. But if you're running Hyperstar, that doesn't do anything for you. Uh, so I took a chance on this, I felt, and that's uh, worked out. I've been using it for a couple of years and no problems. All right, so that is everything. Three different rigs, gives me plenty of data when we do have those rare clear nights. And uh, it keeps me, keeps me busy. So if anyone has any questions or anything, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Other than that, have a good day. Clear skies.